All right, cool. I can edit anything. Um, okay. If at any point you want this video taken down or edited or whatever, it's up to you. Okay. So, okay, so let's get to the file. <clears throat> okay, so it's been two months, just over two months since we last, ta last talked. So how are you doing? Good. I think I'm probably, you know, I, if I don't acutely get exposed to the contents of our old home, I'm probably running it about 80 or 90% better. So I can go into a grocery store. I can, you know, do normal activities like I used to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Which is, so I think the one thing that I've really added that has been beneficial since we last talked was liver gallbladder flushes with like grapefruit and olive oil and backing that with colon hydrotherapy, which I had never done before. And that has really cleared, I mean, grossly, but TMI, um, I had thousands of gallstones come out. So that has really helped, I think, open drainage in my liver that was severely congested for who knows how long. So that's really helped. Wow. So the, um, uh... Gallstones came out with the gallbladder liver flush and the colon mm -hmm. hydrotherapy or just from the flush? Just from the flush, I was seeing, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of small stones come out. And then to kind of help purge and clear that even further, I did, I backed that a day or two after with a colon hydrotherapy. And that seemed to really help clear out more debris that was just impacting my liver and colon. So with the colon hydrotherapy, did you see noticeable, like obvious parasite or was it like dark, you know, like toxins or what'd you see? So both. Yeah. So there, I could see visible toxic sludge coming out. And then there were, um, what I believe adult liver flukes. So large red, like an inch. Um, no, they were smaller. They were probably like dime size, but you could visibly see them coming out in the flesh. So I think that that had also been obstructing for God knows how long in my liver gallbladder. So when did you start that? How many weeks ago? So I've done, when I first started doing the liver gallbladder flushes, I, I got a really bad fever. And so I backed it with another one the next day because I knew my body was trying to expel whatever was in there. So I did the first one. I backed it with another one, probably five days later. Um, those first two, I didn't do colon hydrotherapy because I didn't, I didn't do enough research on my own, but then the third, fourth, and fifth one were probably three weeks ish apart or maybe less for that fourth one. And then I did the colon hydrotherapy in between, and it just really opened that drainage pathway open for me. So that helped tremendously. And each time I was doing those flushes, there were, I mean, sometimes there were quarter size gallstones coming out. Okay. And like I said, thousands. <laughs> huh? and like I said, thousands too. And yeah. with my with mold, to me, that kind of makes sense is it just congeals everything. And yeah, yeah, along with the diet that I had had growing up, it wasn't perfect by any means. The so American diet. Yeah. Yeah. So that really helped. I think I was still getting severe brain fog during the day, or even if I, like I said, we've been living in this house that has a musty smell in the basement for our rental and I couldn't tolerate it. I would come home and have those panic attacks and things like that. That has gone down by like 95%. I'm able, able to tolerate the home that we're in. I'm able to tolerate some of the clothing. Um, yeah, it's been good. <laughs> yeah, so, good. No, you still no in your rental house. You still have your old possessions from the moldy house in the garage. Yeah, we. I haven't touched them. Because if you do, then you'll get that severe reaction. I still get a severe reaction if I like if they haven't been cleaned outside. Um, I still get a severe reaction, and I'm down probably for half the day. But it's not to the severity that it was. Thank goodness. But whatever that primordial soup is on there I can't it's like yeah. a peanut out that per, yeah that particular mold from your old house is much more deadly than the current musty smell in your current rental house yeah, yeah. 
And then, oh boy, that's amazing. Okay. So that I think has really been a key for me because I'm still getting those almost like afternoon fevers a little bit. Like I would just feel flush for whatever reason and then get the brain fog. And that has really cleared that up. So last time I added, so cardio sport, I asked Bab, bio PC pro. So tell me about these uh, four supplements I have you on since I last saw you two months ago. What's your take on those? Those have been okay. I honestly feel like the last protocol that we were on was really moving things along like noticeably. Um, but I, I do know that the gut is intimately involved as well. And this has kind of quieted some digestive issues for me too. So it wasn't to the impact that the first protocol was, but I do notice a stable incline in my health, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's good. So with the previous uh, supplements, are there any that you miss that you feel like you want them back to more detoxing or something? Um, honestly, I think, you know, with all of the liver congestion that I've had, I've honestly kept the liver gallbladder supplement that you put me on here and there just to assist when I'm going through those flushes or I'm, I need a little additional liver support. I've kept that one here and there. And Which then- one? Which one's that? I think it was the systemic formula. LB liver. Yeah. LB liver gallbladder. Okay. And then yeah, that's a great one. Yeah. Good one. And then after that, after those flushes, my kidneys would kind of hurt because they were, you know, pulling all these toxins out. So I did assist my kidneys with the previous supplement that you gave me from standard process as well. Cause I had some leftover. And that would be, let me look it up, see if I can find it quickly here. So for the kidney, Alplex or? Yeah. Alplex. Okay, good. Okay. So what's your plan then for more flushes and hydro colon hydrotherapy? So I want to keep doing those probably once a month, if not spaced out even further, um, just until I stop seeing stones, until I stop seeing liver flukes <laughs> as well. Um, that's kind of the plan right now, but if my body kind of says differently with what your therapies are, then I'll stop them. But for now, it's kind of really been helping, I think, open that drainage pathway for me. Cause I think that's my weakness, my Achilles heel. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then, so do you have a plan when you move into your new house? Yeah, we're gonna take all the contents that I've I've washed and keep them separate for a while, just until I can kind of recover from this. And I've actually wanted to get your take on something called the Shoemaker Protocol for SIRS, for chronic inflammatory response. Yeah. Do you have ideas on that? Any suggestions? Yeah, I know so, it's kind of so SIRS being chronic inflammatory response syndrome, supposedly genetic, some people are more sensitive to mold and can't detox very well compared to others. So Dr. Shoemaker, his... Dr. Shoemaker's manual was written by Dr. Amy Dean, who's in Ann Arbor. And I've talked to her when I had, when I found out I had mold, I called her up. We talked for like an hour and a half. And what's funny is at the time she was living in a tent in her backyard because her house was moldy. And, you know, she said there's a whole bunch of tests to run. And when you go through the whole protocol, it's going to cost like 50 grand. And when I, so, but at the time that I was seeing my mold doctor and he was, uh, you know, American Academy of Environmental Medicine. And he said, you don't have to spend 50 grand and you don't have to run all those tests. And the binder, the drug is cholestyramine. And it's not that easy to work with. It's actually not that good. So the binders like from Cellcor are an evolution of cholestyramine. Over the course of decades, scientists have just taken this concept of binding garbage from the intestine, pulling, pulling out the garbage. And they've, you know, enhanced that so much more. But, um, I, gotta, I mean, I have a patient, she's a geneticist and she's always, she's got mold in her house and she's always arguing with me, like, what about my genetics? And my answer is take carboxy. And when she started taking carboxy, she had like five bowel movements a day. Mm -hmm. So she runs to her medical doctor and gets diagnosed with, you know, irritable bowel syndrome. I was like, no, it's not a disease. You just are pooping more. And at the time she felt better. And, but, you know, we can't get all wrapped up in genetics. Yeah. You know? And the, and we can't discount 
the supplements over drugs because the cholestyramine and there's one other one they're just they're hard to work with they just don't work as well so when it comes to SIRS my whole answer is keep doing what you're doing yeah and yeah. I've never that to you and I wanted to get your take on it because there's certain people in this profession that are like well you you know you can't there's this is negative this is positive so it's going to bind this is negative and negative it's going to repel so you need cholestyramine or you need the VIP to do the nasal sprays blah 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 so I've seen results with what you've been giving me yeah. <laughs> infinitely yeah. come over yeah. I was going to die every day to now I'm having, you know, 20, 25% where I'm having little brain fog bursts. I noticed that this has been the path for me and my body specifically. So I just wanted to get your take on it because you're a highly intelligent person and I trust you with the whole problem. Yeah. So the other aspect of SIRS is that that was an era where people were really focused on trying to enhance the machinery within the cells. So mm -hmm. that's, you know, N-acetylcysteine and um, the no ono cycle and nitric oxide and stuff like that. Whereas with the binders, you just bypass all that and you just grab onto the toxins and pull them out. So that's, yeah, yeah that, that viewpoint. I get what you're saying too about the polarity and stuff. It doesn't apply with, with Cellcorp because they just enhance their product so much with so much electricity, electrons, hydrogen. It's so powerful, grabs onto all kinds of toxins. So, all right. Now you were doing, um, Last time we talked, three scoops of carboxy a day, and then, and then I had you stop it. Right, you took a break from it. Took a break. Yep. So the only real symptom that is still lingering is basically for me what I can tell is in my head. Like when I get exposed to the contents, or if I, you know, go to a certain place or a, a bathroom that has too much mold in it, I will feel. I will feel it here and here and I will feel disoriented and like, where did I put things? Where, what was I doing? That's the only kind of lingering symptom for me. The headaches have kind of gone away. The nosebleeds, the vomiting, all of those symptoms have left, but it's kind of like the memory is still not there for me. Yeah. So you have mold right here and right here then just in those sinuses. Yeah. And so, I've been doing kind of the topical that you prescribed as well at nights and then the nose rinses as well. Okay. Have you taken Antronex from Standard Process? Mm -mm. Okay. There's another one called Spanish Black Radish. Have you taken that? No. Those are, those are going to be the best ones for you. I'm going to recommend both. Okay. And the doses are relatively small, designed to be for a longer period of time. So Spanish Black Radish, three a day. And then the Antronex is two a day. Okay. Yeah, from the memory um, piece, when I get exposed, that goes out the window. <laughs> yeah. So. And then the Asura brain, you're still taking that to flush out your brain? Yep. And topic. Okay. Let me think about this. Um, and then in the past, did I have you? Okay, I asked Bab. And there's three yep. more I asked products. Yes. Is bar played, yeah. Which ones have you taken? Just the one that you prescribed. I have all of them in my repertoire per se, but I haven't taken any. You have all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, very vivid, accessible. Okay. Yep. Yeah, the one you prescribed, I think was, is bad. I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let me think about this. So when you don't get exposed, do you ever feel pressure here related to allergies or humidity um it's almost like I can't quite breathe as clearly it's almost okay. like there's gas or something obstructing one right. of so it's kind of like congestion locally yeah and we've talked about the navage right mm -hmm. and you've been doing that I have I don't have the navage but I do have a nasal rinse that I've been doing pair of three in and that helps clear that kind of brain fuzz up for me as well after I do it. Okay. When you were taking lots of carboxy, did you feel that this was getting cleaned out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did. Well, I think, well, how about putting carboxy in the 
sinus rinse. I have not tried that. There you go. That'd okay. be amazing. That'd be really good. So, so just picture, you know, when I took carboxy orally, um, it drove toxins out of my ears. Like I use, I rarely use Q-tips because my ears are pretty clean. But after yeah. six weeks of carboxy, that wax is like dark orange and it smelled horrible. So picture like that carboxy up in here, inside the sinuses, like grabbing on the toxins. You know, it's going to be great. You're going to love it. <laughs> yeah, and I will say too, so after I did those liver gallbladder flushes, the tinnitus in my left ear was, I could I could sleep without a sound machine for two days until I reintroduced gluten-free pizza like three days later and it just brought back the tinnitus I was like oh, okay back to meat no gluten-free anything so I'm gonna repeat that liver gallbladder flush plus colon hydrotherapy get rid of your tinnitus yeah it was I forgot because we went on a, a trip and we took our sound machine with us for our baby I came back and I forgot to plug it in and I slept that night for the first time in three years without a sound machine and I didn't hear it at all upon waking and I was like oh I didn't have tinnitus last night oh my gosh and my sound machine wasn't on so then two days later I reintroduced foods that probably inflamed me and my body and the tinnitus came back so it was between that and the food choices for my body that just I think perpetuated that ringing yeah that's awesome these, so, are, these are absolute miracles what you're saying really good. yeah okay okay cool so um so the changes that we are making they're just little tweaks right so enter next spanish, spanish for like radish for your sinuses and then the carboxy in there okay. sinus rinse and then keep doing what you're doing now but okay we gotta keep thinking long term though because because really over time it's going to be um, a few more years of you detoxing with carboxy and or biotoxin binder. Yeah. So what you did, like flushing out your liver is, is fantastic. And that'll eventually speed up the detoxing of the mold, you know? Right. So, um, and then now, as far as like moving into your house, like what do you have a month picked out for that? When's that going to be? So they're putting up walls this week. The foundation is, so we're hoping by November. Okay. It is I, was, I was thinking it'd be in the next few months. No. Okay. And but then all the contents from the old house are, I'm going to put them in the garage and keep them there <laughs> until yeah. I, you know, tolerate them item by item, because that's really been, I think, a hindrance on my immune system. Yeah. Okay. So next time we talk, then uh, we'll talk about more, more detoxing, getting back to carboxy biotoxin binder. And it totally depends on how you feel. Are you willing to do it? Is your body able to do it? Do you have the confidence to go through that again? You know, that kind of stuff. We have to feel it out. Okay. You know? And then like, if if you have a tremendous amount of stress occur or you're going to travel to Europe for vacation or something, then no detoxing. Okay. But I just want you to <clears throat> prepare mentally for our next conversation. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm cool. in. Okay, good. All right, cool. Anything else to go over? No, I think that's it. Just that major shift and just keep doing what I'm doing. And thank you yeah. for your help.